Today I want to shed some light on hip-hop rapper Big Sean. Born as Sean Michael Leonard Anderson, Sean was raised by a single mother and didn't have a very easy life coming up. Now he began rapping in his basement at just the age of six and he hasn't stopped since. Sean did rap battles at various different radio stations trying to get his name known in the business. In 2005, Kanye West discovered the young artist, and in 2007, West made a special attempt to see him battle at a Detroit hip-hop radio station and signed him on the spot. Now, Sean produced multiple mixtapes, but didn't release his first album until 2011, titled Finally Famous. With three number one singles, the album sold nearly 90,000 copies within the first week. Now, working with stars such as Chris Brown, Kanye West, Drake, Wiz Khalifa, Rick Ross, and many, many more, Sean's album sold almost 400,000 copies after his songs worked their way through the industry. Now, his next album, Hall of Fame, wasn't as famous as his first, selling 15,000 copies less than the Finally Famous album. Now, when he finally released his second album after pushing back the date, he was already working on his third album, titled Dark Sky Paradise released this past February. The album debuted on the Billboard 200, making it his first number one album. Now, a huge congrats goes out to him. Now, Sean claims that this album was inspired by his current girlfriend, Ariana Grande. Now, the album has already sold over a million records and counting. Big Sean is on his way to a very successful career, and people definitely shouldn't sleep on him. He is a very dedicated musician, and everyone should make sure that they look out for his album. That's all for me. Back to our host. Thanks, Allison. Now, before we go to commercial, we have something very special in store for you. Recently, the one and only Rain Wilson of The Office and Soul Pancake fame gave a talk on leadership here at Ball State, and our very own Isaac Watley had the opportunity to interview him. So, enjoy the interview, and we'll be right back afterwards. 